Along with SpaceX's rockets, new competitors like New Glenn, Vulcan, and Rocket Lab's upcoming Neutron rocket are scheduled to join the space race next year, adding fresh competition to the industry and perhaps even providing a worthy challenge to SpaceX. In the meantime, SpaceX is making significant contributions to the ISS through new resupply missions and has reached major milestones in the process. However, safety remains a priority as NASA has recently raised some concerns about SpaceX's vehicles. Let's dive into all of this in today's episode from NR Studio. Rocket Lab has quickly emerged as one of the most active companies in the U.S. aerospace sector, trailing only SpaceX. Their success has been fueled in large part by their Electron rocket, which recently reached a milestone of 10 launches in a single year, and is a remarkable achievement compared to the slower progress seen by ULA and Blue Origin. Although, as a small lift vehicle, Electron is not enough for Rocket Lab to truly compete with the big boys in the industry. To bridge this gap, Rocket Lab is developing Neutron, a medium lift launch vehicle scheduled for its maiden launch next year. The new rocket positions Rocket Lab to participate in the U.S. Navy's National Security Space Launch Program. Currently, SpaceX, ULA, and Blue Origin hold contracts for NSSL Phase 3 Lane 1. Rocket Lab seeks to advance to the next phase of the Neutron program, driven by the U.S. Space Force's enthusiasm for fostering increased competition. The program's Unlimited Delivery and Quantity, or IDIQ structure, is designed to welcome additional companies to challenge existing contractors. CEO Peter Beck expressed optimism regarding Rocket Lab's future, stating, We are thrilled to participate in the bidding for NSSL Lane 1 as we believe that Neutron represents an exceptional vehicle for this endeavor. Under the NSSL requirements, participants in Track 1 must be ready to launch by December 2025. With high confidence in this deadline, Beck also revealed that Rocket Lab is targeting a Neutron's maiden flight in mid-2025, keeping them on track to join the U.S. Space Force program and expand their role in national security missions. With Rocket Lab's Neutron launch expected next year, we could see a promising new competitor enter the market to challenge SpaceX's dominance. Currently, although SpaceX has fewer flights under Phase 2 of the U.S. Space Force's NSSL program than ULA, the company has consistently increased its market share thanks to faster and more efficient launches. In fact, SpaceX has managed to secure a significant allocation of $733.6 million for its Phase 3 budget, confirming its leadership position and launch capabilities. Meanwhile, there are few signs that ULA or Blue Origin can match SpaceX's current trajectory. Rocket Lab's ambitions are bold, but their confidence is based on Neutron's unique strengths. The rocket is manufactured using advanced 3D printing technology, which not only reduces manufacturing issues, but also speeds up production times. Neutron also uses lightweight carbon fiber instead of stainless steel which, while less durable during re-entry than SpaceX's Starship, improves thrust to mass efficiency. Another innovation is the design of Neutron's fairing, which is attached to the rocket and partially opens to launch payloads. This reusable fairing arrangement reduces repair time and costs, unlike Falcon rockets, where the fairing is discarded. Development on Neutron has also been rapid. Launched just three years ago, Rocket Lab successfully completed the first successful test of its Archimedes engine in August. The pace of their development is striking compared to New Glenn and Vulcan, which have experienced significant delays. Additionally, Neutron's estimated development cost of $250 to $300 million is significantly lower than other medium and heavy lift rockets, adding to its appeal as a cost-effective option in the competitive space launch market. While Rocket Lab's Neutron can't yet compete with SpaceX's rockets in terms of capacity, it does bring new competition to the market, perhaps more so than Blue Origin or ULA. With its innovative design and rapid development, Neutron could leapfrog both of these companies if it stays on track. What do you think? Let me know with a yes or no in the comments and feel free to elaborate. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey. Up until the groundbreaking resupply mission, SpaceX continues to assert its dominance in a variety of military, government, and ISS-related operations. Following the success of the Crew-9 mission in September, SpaceX recently launched the CRS-31 cargo mission to the International Space Station.
breaking off at 929 Eastern Daylight Time from Launch Complex 39 in Florida, CRS-31 carried a substantial payload of 6,000 pounds, including critical cargo, food, supplies, and science experiments for the crew aboard the ISS. The mission reflects SpaceX's ongoing commitment to reliably supporting and sustaining operations on the station. The Dragon capsule for CRS-31 is scheduled to arrive at the ISS approximately 13 hours after launch, docking at the forward port of the Harmony module, which is now available following the relocation of Crew Dragon to a different docking port. CRS-31 will remain connected to the ISS for approximately a month, after which it will return to Earth with a planned splashdown off the coast of Florida, bringing back valuable experiment results and other cargo. One of the keys to CRS-31's success was the B-1083 rocket, which made its fifth successful landing on Landing Zone 1, or LZ-1. This marks SpaceX's 36th overall booster recovery and its 41st landing on LZ-1 specifically. B-1083's service history is impressive, with missions such as Crew-8 and Polaris Dawn already underway, demonstrating SpaceX's increasing reliability and expertise in reusable launch technology. This 31st dedicated cargo mission to the ISS is one of many that underscores SpaceX's critical role in supporting the station. Along with its uncrewed delivery mission accomplishments, SpaceX has completed 10 crewed missions under NASA's commercial crew program, further strengthening its influence in the broader spaceflight landscape. In contrast, Boeing's Starliner, originally envisioned as an alternative crew transport vehicle, has struggled with technical issues. In an effort to increase its relevance in ISS logistics, Boeing is also exploring options for Starliner to carry cargo. However, with SpaceX's Dragon firmly established as the mainstay for ISS resupply, the market window for Starliner may be narrowing, increasing the pressure on Boeing to meet the upcoming deadline. The CRS-31 mission also marked a major milestone for SpaceX. It was the 400th successful launch of a Falcon rocket. SpaceX announced the achievement via X by launching a Falcon 9 carrying Dragon to the space station, marking our 400th successful Falcon launch. This landmark launch reinforces the ongoing success of the Falcon rocket series and sets a solid foundation for future goals. SpaceX aspires to achieve the formidable objective of 400 Falcon 9 launches, with a remarkable target of up to 148 launches this year alone, highlighting the extraordinary growth and operational efficacy of its launch program. Each mission and milestone reflects SpaceX's relentless momentum as it continues to shape the future of space exploration and transportation, despite SpaceX's increasing launch frequency, safety remains a top priority, especially after recent incidents. At an October 31st meeting of the Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel, ASAP, Kent Raminger, a former astronaut and committee member, highlighted recent issues with the Falcon 9 and Dragon, sounding the alarm as SpaceX's launch operations ramp up. Issues mentioned included a second stage problem in July, which prompted a two-week investigation and suspension, a booster landing failure in August that led to a brief delay, and an engine issue with the Falcon's second stage during a Crew-9 mission in September. As SpaceX continues to set industry standards, these reminders serve to balance progress with vigilance, ensuring reliability even as the company reaches new heights in space exploration. Reflecting on recent issues, Raminger emphasized the importance of careful attention to detail as hardware ages and operational speeds increase. He said, when we look at recent incidents in the past few weeks, it is clear that safe operations require significant attention to detail as hardware ages and the pace of operations increases. Both NASA and SpaceX need to maintain their focus on the safe operation of Crew Dragon and not take for granted any normal operations. Raminger cautioned that both organizations should be careful not to allow the high pace of operations to cloud their judgment, to ensure that the appropriate level of attention to detail and the appropriate time and resources are allocated to thoroughly understand root causes and implement corrective actions. This caution is especially justified given the recent challenges faced by Falcon 9, which experienced three consecutive issues in a span of three months. While none of this would affect mission objectives, it does underscore the need for vigilance, especially on crewed missions. 
As a leading launch provider, SpaceX must maintain rigorous standards. Raminger additionally noted a slight delay in the deployment of a parachute during Crew-8's Dragon mission, attributed to one of the four parachutes opening at a slower rate than its counterparts. While this is not a major issue, it is still a concern. He did, however, applaud SpaceX's plan to land the Dragon on the West Coast, which would allow for better management of the Dragon trunk and help reduce space debris. Caution is important, especially when a company like SpaceX, accustomed to long periods of flawless performance, is facing several issues in quick succession. SpaceX has consistently demonstrated a remarkable capacity to swiftly identify and address issues, in stark contrast to companies that may take years to resolve comparable challenges. This resilience and proactive approach makes SpaceX a key player in the future of U.S. aerospace. As they continue to balance safety and reliability with rapid progress, SpaceX is in a strong position to maintain its leadership in the industry. It's time for us to end today's episode. See you in the next episode.